Hi everyone, this is Dr. Praveen S. Patil here. So today I would like to give a brief introduction about the commonly used surgical instruments. So if you take any kind of instrument, these instruments can be labeled or labeled as jaw, joint, shank, ratchet and finger grip. Jaw in most of the blunt instrument you can call it as the jaw, in sharper instruments you can call it as the blade. And next part is fulcrum. This fulcrum that is a joint is of two variants. One is box variant. So now you can see a box kind of joint. So that is a box joint. And second, another one comes that is a screw type. So where the two blades or two shaft are joined with a screw. And another next part is shank that is the body of the instrument. And you can see a ratchets here. So those ratchets are to lock the instrument. And the next part is finger grip. So these are the parts where we can introduce our fingers and to hold the instrument. So this is a sharp instrument where you can see the both the shaft are joined with the screw. So these are the different sized metallic suction tips which are along with their stellate inside. So these are metallic suction tips used for suctioning at the operation site. And this is a plastic suction tip usually used for abdominal surgeries. So this is a Alice forcep. Here you can see the jaw of the instrument and next part is that is fulcrum that is the joint of the instrument. As I told earlier this is a box kind of fulcrum. You can see here both the shaft are joined with a box kind of joining so hence the name box kind of joint you can see in some other instruments where i have i have taken straight scissor here where the two shaft are joined with the screw so this is called as screw kind of fulcrum this is the box kind And this is the shank and this one is the finger ring and this is the ratchet. So there are three lockings within it. So usually one or two locks are commonly used. As I told earlier, this is Ali's forcep. So this is having a zigzag kind of mouth. This is used to hold the harder structures like uh, aponeurosis and skin, etc. This is mesen bone scissor or curved scissor used to handle the tissue to cut the or trim the tissue. And this is straight scissor used to cut the suture, thread, somewhat harder structure than the tissue. And this is the method of handling the scissors. So this is we are using tripod grip that is three fingers are used to handle the instrument and whenever you are cutting so the operating hand has to be rested on the another hand this is a commonly used method so like that so we can take a help of another supporting hand and cut the suture or handle the tissue this is another small scissor
there are different methods of handling the or holding the instrument so this is called as tripod grip where the three fingers are used that is thumb and ring fingers are used to hold the instrument and whereas index is supporting the or guiding the instrument and this is called as palmar grip so where more force is required we can use the palmar grip and this is called as pencil grip where we can operate on the fine surgery we can use this method for operating on the fine surgeries and next comes this is a dissecting forceps bro simply speaking this dissecting forceps comes in two variants that is toothed and untoothed but based on the its breadth and length these are further classified as canadian michels dissecting forceps lane dissecting forceps and addison's dissecting forceps but simply speaking these are toothed and untoothed dissecting forceps toothed for this is untoothed so we don't see the tooth at the tip so you can easily you can appreciate the difference between the these two forceps one is toothed forceps and another one is untoothed forceps or plain forceps plain dissecting forceps or tissue holding forceps also you can say so toothed forceps is used for to hold the harder structures like skin where untoothed forceps are used to hold the softer tissues like intestinal walls etc and this is sponge holding forceps this instrument is uh, used for to hold the sponge at the time of painting painting the operative site so this is the sponge holder This is Megill's forceps which is named after Ivan Megill who was the anesthetist in of Irish. This instrument is used to guide the endotracheal tube into the larynx. Nasogastric tube into the esophagus under the direct vision. And this is also used to remove the foreign bodies and for the throat packing. This is the only instrument which is used with the only with the right hand. This instrument is called as curved artery forcep. As the name suggest the blades are curved the jaw are curved hence the name curved artery forcep. These are used to hold the bleeders like whatever it may be artery vein venules whatever it may be. So used for hemostasis purpose and sometimes it is also used to hold the structures like peritoneum fascia aponeurosis etc here this instrument is nothing but the curved artery forceps only but having a smaller size that is approximately 4 inch so this instrument is called as mosquito forceps it is nothing but curved artery forceps but smaller in size so called mosquito forcep so this is right angle forcep this is called right angle forcep because of its tip having the right angle with its body so this forcep is used for clamping dissecting and grasping the tissue so example for, for the dissection is we can use this forcep for dissecting the meso appendix at the time of appendectomy and this is commonly used in open cholecystectomy this is mayo's curved scissor so we can get mayo's curved and straight scissor also and this is called devers retractor this instrument is used for deeper retraction because of its longer blade so we can use this instrument for deeper retraction in the intraabdominal surgery example at the time of open cholecystectomy 
we can use this instrument to retract the lever bed and this one is Langenbeck retractor this is used for the retraction in surface surgeries like in case of thyroidectomy we can use this for the retraction and this is journey's retractor having two different blades on either side so this is having two blades and one side and one blade on another side so this instrument is used for retraction of the abdominal wall and commonly used instrument in case of hernia and appendicectomy and this is a towel clip this is used to clip the two towels at the time of draping this is called coachers forcep which has tooth tip with serrated blades this instrument is commonly used for hemostasis from the larger tissue commonly used instrument in case of hysterectomy and here i would like to tell about the coacher theodore coacher who received the nobel prize in the year of 1909 for his work in understanding the thyroid in the better way and these are ball parker handles of different number so three numbers and seven number handles suits with the blades starting with the prefix 1 example 10 that is 10 11 12 15 these blades suits with the handle of number 3 and 7 and bp handle of number 4 will suits for the blades of prefix starting with 2 like 20 21 22 like that difference between bp handle of number 3 and 7 is the only length you can see here number 7 bp handle is much lengthier than that of the number 3 this is adjacent dissecting forceps because of multiple holes in the body the weight of the instrument got reduced and this is called as proctoscope and this is used for anal examination or anal surgery also so this is the obturator and another one this is the proctoscope all together is called as proctoscope so another proctoscope we call it as a slit proctoscope this is the slit proctoscope which has a slit on one end and the tip is closed the tip of the instrument is closed this is used for hemorrhagectomy or anal surgeries this is the needle holder we can say it's a mayo hager needle holder and this is a jaw within a jaw we can see a zigzag serrations for the proper holding of the needle for the gripping of the needle and we can see a groove within the this uh, jaw only so this groove is to hold the curved needle with a proper grip so this is the main difference between the straight artery forceps and needle holder one is the length of the jaw is less 
and serrations and groove and within a sub picture we can see kilner needle holder that is curved curved one and this is the straight one if we use a bigger needle holder to catch the smaller needle then we are more prone to damage the needle and if we are using the bigger needle with a smaller needle holder then we may get damaged the needle holder itself so appropriate size has to be considered this is babcock's forceps instrument is designed to hold the tubular structures like fallopian tube appendix etc so this is less traumatic in comparison with the alice forcep here the mouth is blunt it's not sharp it's a blunt mouth and designed to hold the tubular structures and this is barron's rubber band applicator for used in case of surgery of the hemorrhoids so this is the only the, the upper part is used to load the rubber band and once the rubber band get loaded we can deliver the mass into the lumen of that instrument and fire the rubber band at the base of the hemorrhoids surgical needles are of basically two types so one is straight and curved among the curved or straight whatever it may be so based on the tip we can classify as the triangular body needle and uh, round body needle round bodies are less traumatic and for the harder tissue we need to have a triangular so this has to be held with a needle holder at uh, from the tip we have to leave two third and from the eye we have to leave the one third and that is the place where we have to catch the needle with the needle holder and as i told this is a triangular body triangular body are more traumatic and uh, commonly used for the tougher tissue like skin and all so friends this is all about the commonly used general surgery instruments If you find this a worth value then kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Thank you.